Okay, hi, welcome to class, Sultan and Mishari. We are going to have a look at IELTS writing task two today, and we're going to look at how to write a good introduction, how to write a good body paragraph one, a good body paragraph two, and how to write a good conclusion. So that's what we are discussing. But first of all, we need to understand something very important. That is how to analyze the question, how to understand the question, and then address the question appropriately. So. Before we do that, I'd like you to look at some of the questions. They are related to IELTS writing task two. And in the chat, um, can you write the answer for these questions? For example, for task for question number one, you can say it is false or it is correct. So in the chat, can you type the answers to these questions? Okay, now I see Mishari is upside down. He's like this. So maybe because of the uh, the computer orientation, the, sorry, the lab, the mobile orientation. <clears throat> okay, cool. You can send only one answer. For example, one is false. So write one false, two true, three no, false. No, no, no. Like, yeah, great. So just write all the answers together and send one message instead of um writing the answers one by one and sending them to me oh Bashar, you are now okay i can see you now straight early i thought you were going to sleep in bed and yeah. stuff like that <clears throat> Okay, brilliant. So two is false. Okay, and you write at least two fifty in last writing class two at least two fifty. Okay, three, you get a higher score if you write a lot more than 250 words. No, okay, and you should discuss different opinions about the question and give your own opinion. Number four, it's true. Okay, number five. Oh, okay, number five, you should write, not write about your own knowledge or experience of the topic. Okay, right, Mishari, can you tell me why two is false? No, sorry, um, Sultan, can you tell me why two is false? Two? You wrote no, two, true, 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 two, two true. false. Two is true, sorry. Ah, you wrote false, okay, so you can add it to your response, I think. Okay. Yeah. So Sultan is saying two is true now. Okay, good. And uh, five, it is, you should not write about your own knowledge or experience of the topic. It's false. I, I think, you know, it is true because you can write about your knowledge or experience. Okay, don't worry, you can write. But you cannot write about your knowledge and experience in IELTS writing task one. Today we are discussing writing task two. 
so you can write this okay you can uh, yeah you can about your own knowledge or about your own experience you can write about it right so let's get going and tell me let me tell you the answers so here are the answers for you you should spend about 30 minutes on trials writing times two it is false and you should write at least 250 words. Yes, at least 250 words, okay? This is true. And you get a higher score if you write it a lot more than 250 words in Lyle's writing class two. No, it is not true. You don't write, you don't get a higher score just because you write more. And number four, you should discuss different opinions about the question and give your own opinion. Yes, true. Thanks very much for sharing your answers. Brilliant, uh, Shadi, I liked it. And number four, you should discuss different opinions about the question. Give your own opinion. Yes. You should not write about your own knowledge or experience. No, you can write. Okay. And it is a good idea to be funny and formal in your answer for writing else writing else writing class too. Yes, it is not a problem if you are funny or informal Peter? in writing. Yes, you can. So it is true. Peter? Yeah. Can I have one minute? My father calling me. Yeah, sure, sure. Take your time. Not a problem. You can mute yourself and uh Mishari, how did you find the questions? Were they difficult or easy? Ah, oh, this is easy. Easy, yeah. So I think you got the answers. So these are the answers, uh, Mishari. How many answers did you get right? And how many did you, did you get wrong? I think uh, it is all uh, right. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. So this is how we write uh, the writing task too. And mm. uh, if you have this information, then nothing is going to be difficult for you. Now, uh, let's look at question type. So I'm going to give you four questions, four different questions. Question one, question two, question three, question four. Now, what you do is you tell me uh, the special idea. Decide whether the underlined words and phrases are the subject or the special idea about the subject. So, so overweight children uh healthier than meat eaters or they are less healthy oil in cooking a big health problem in many countries around the world so i want you to tell me whether the underlined words are the subject or they are the special idea it's very important to write about the special idea about the subjects and not about the topic not about the subject here so can you tell me uh whether the whether the underlined words and phrases are the subject or the special idea about the subject i hope everything is okay sultan yeah yeah okay, okay so so what we are doing now sultan is that we are trying to understand the difference between uh between uh the subject and the special idea about the subject because in the writing examination you will need to write about the special idea and not about the subject if you write about the subject your answer will be wrong so it's important to understand the difference between the subject and the special idea right so look at the underlined words overweight children uh healthier than okay i'll try to highlight this for you quickly so health, overweight children, um, healthier meat eaters, or they are less healthy. So these are the underlined words. And we need to understand whether the underlined words are the, are the subject or the special idea. So let's first clarify this. In the examination, will you write about the subject or the special idea? What will you write about in the examination? uh special idea special idea yeah brilliant so you will write about the special idea in the examination okay and not about the the topic not about the subject so if you write about the subject only you will not get a good score in the ielts examination you should be writing about the special idea now let's understand the difference between these two here so question number one, there are too many overweight children in the world. Why do children become overweight and what can be done about it? So the, under, the overweight children, is it the subject or the special idea? I think uh, it is a subject. subject. Yes. Oh, okay. This is the subject. So in your answer, 
will you be writing about overweight children or why do children become overweight and what can be done about it? What will you be writing in the examination? Why do children become overweight? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So you should not write about overweight children. You should write about why children become overweight. This is a problem. And what can be done about it? What is the solution? So problem and solution. This is a problem and solution essay. So in your exam, you will be writing about why do children become overweight and what can be done about it? Brilliant. So if you look here um, at the options, if you click on this one, you will get the, yeah. So you will, is it the subject or the special idea about the subject? Okay, so this is the, uh, the subject. Number two, some people think that vegetarians are healthier than meat eaters, while other people think they are less healthy. So look at the underlined words. Are they the subject or the special idea? Special idea. Special idea. Very good. This is this the special idea. And what is the subject here? Vegetarian. Vegetarians. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good. So vegetarians is the subject, and special idea is are healthier than meters. So you in, in your essay, you should write you should be writing about the special idea and not about the uh, the 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 um, the subject here, okay? Now, number three, let's look at number three. Compare the dangers and benefits of using oil in cooking. So is it the subject or the special idea? Uh, subject. Subject, brilliant, oil in cooking. And compare the dangers and benefits. What is this? This is the special idea. Special so idea. in Yeah, so in your examination, you will be writing about comparing the dangers and benefits of using cooking oil. So number four, sugar is now a big health problem in many countries around the world. What is your opinion? This one now, is it the subject of the special idea? Special idea. Special idea. So sugar is the subject. And your answer, yes. you should be writing only about the special idea that is about the subject here. I'm going to send you the link later so you can watch this uh, presentation and uh, review the, all the information if you like. So, okay. So uh, let's now look at the answers. Uh, these are the answers that you have been giving me and all your answers are correct, brilliant. Okay, so the subject, the special idea, and uh, yeah, so this is the... Right, and let me see if I can remove this from your view so you can watch it clearly again if you need to. Okay, brilliant. So you got the idea, what is the subject and what is the special idea and your answers in the examination, you should be writing about the special idea here. Okay, let's look at the other question now. Okay, so there are too many overweight children in the world. Why do children work weight and what can be done about it? So let's see what the task is. After you have found the subject and the special idea about the subject, you should decide what the essay question is asking you today. So you have you know now what is the subject and what is the special idea about the subject. Mm -hmm. Next, you should know what the question is asking you to do. So there are a couple of things that the question will ask you to do. Okay, you will need to write about these, agree or disagree, compare advantages and disadvantages, compare two children sorry, two different opinions and discuss problems and solutions. I'm going to hide this from you. You will tell me, for example, for question number one, there are too many overweight children in the world. Why do children become overweight and what can be done about it? So what is the question? Discuss problem and solution. Problem discuss and solution. Yeah, brilliant. Discuss problem and solution. Yes, discuss problem and solution here. So this is the answer for this question. Brilliant. So uh, I'm going to hide this from you. You should remember uh, what we are talking now. So I hope you don't have any problem remembering it. So let's have a look at the second question now. Uh, some people think that vegetarians are healthier than meat eaters, while other people think they are less healthy. Compare the two views. So what is this question asking you to do? Compare two opinions. Compare uh... opinions. 
Okay, compare two different, different opinions. Yeah, compare two different. So this question is asking you to compare the two different opinions. Some people think that vegetarians are healthier than meat eaters, while other think people think they are less healthy. So these are opposing views. Some people think this way, other people think that way. And your job is to discuss both views and give your opinion. Number three, compare the dangers and benefits of using cooking oil and cooking. What is this question so asking? Advantages and disadvantages. Bro, he can't. Compare advantages uh, and disadvantages. Yeah, good. Sultan, you were saying compare the what? Pros and cons. Yes, pros and cons. Brilliant. The pros and cons of this. Okay, and number four, sugar is a big health problem in many countries around the world. What is your opinion? So what should you, uh, what is the, this question asking you to do? Uh, discuss problem okay okay what is your opinion um let's have a look at it again agree or disagree yes do you agree or do you disagree, disagree. so so let's have a look at the answers now okay discuss problem solutions compare to different opinions compare advantage disadvantage agree so now we have analyzed the question and this is the first step that you need to take in our writing task too you need to analyze the question. You need to understand what is the subject, what is the special idea, and what is the question asking you to do. It's very important to be addressing that question. Right, now let's have a look at the next presentation. So your essay should be something like this. Before you start writing, you need to make a plan for your essay. This is a good plan for a good writing task too, for a high scoring IELTS writing task too. So can you now please um, look at this essay, okay, and try to tell me what is missing in these words, uh, in the blanks here. So here, I'm going to suggest the task. Before you write the IELTS writing task to essay, you should make a plan. Complete the plan with the correct words or phrases in the box here. So here are the words and phrases which are missing. Can you use one of these phrases or words for each of the blanks that you see on the screen here? So essay, what can you write here? What is this? Sugar. Essay. Sugar has Sugar bad, bad effects on bad effect and his... Yeah. Okay, good. So um what would you write here in the blank plan enjoy important opinion sugar and coffee actually this is the essay plan so this is your essay plan and you should write plan here okay sugar and coffee yeah okay introduction no. a lot of people are unhealthy because of sh because of sugar because of sugar has a bad effect on health. Okay, sugar has bad effect on health. Okay, people should eat less sugar but enjoy it sometimes. Okay, you know, actually you need to give your opinion here. So I think they should, okay, we'll come back to the answers later. But I just wanted you to tell me the answer yourself. So main body paragraph one, fact, true. What can you write here? This is the main idea. What is the main idea here? Sugar has bad effect on health. Yeah, sugar has bad effect on health. Okay, brilliant. <clears throat> and reasons are examples. People drink. People drink. Too much cola. Too much cola. Ah, people drink too much cola. Okay. Oh, this could make them ill. So result or opinion. What can you write here, the result? Sugar and coffee. Uh yes. no, this is your opinion. You need to give your opinion here. My opinion. My opinion. Mm -hmm. My opinion. Okay, my opinion. Good. You can write your opinion here. Uh main paragraph two fact. Traditional food is traditional food is what? Traditional food is important. Important. Okay. This is the main idea. So the first main idea was I'll tell you that. For the first main idea was, uh, uh, main body fact true. Okay, the reasons are examples. 
and then now it is the second main idea so traditional food is okay important reason is an example like traditional cakes and coffee in my country result or opinion i think it's okay to have cakes at parties or cakes at parties or sugar and coffee or sugar and coffee okay good um uh, a conclusion people should eat less sugar but still people should eat less sugar enjoy it yeah enjoy it sometimes yeah. brilliant so this is how the uh, the plan should be before you start writing your essay you should make a plan like this okay uh, this should be your best plan whenever you start writing I would want and I would like you to tell me the plan first and in the plan there are a couple of things that you need to include you need to include your opinion okay and you need to include the uh, the main ideas, like people should eat less sugar, but enjoy it sometimes. So here, I will just try and uh, highlight the different parts to you here. Okay, so let's now, so people should enjoy, she, people should use less sugar. This is your first main idea. And uh, this one here, uh, enjoy it sometimes. This is your second main idea okay now let's look at the first main idea here one more time so people should eat less sugar so this is your first main idea you will just write the first main idea in the first main body paragraph then you will also come back to the main idea in the conclusion okay so main idea in introduction one one the first main idea in the introduction and then the first main idea in the main body paragraph one and then again you need to mention your opinion or your main idea in the conclusion here now look at let's look at the second main idea we used it in the introduction then we need to use it again in the uh in the body paragraph two here and then when we finish we need to mention it again here so how many times how many times do you need to mention your main ideas in the essay? Two times. Okay, so this is introduction. You mentioned it first here. Then main body and paragraph the one. Conclusion. Yes, one, two, three. Three times you need to mention your first main idea. And then three times you need to mention your second main idea in the introduction main body paragraph and conclusion. So three times you need to mention uh, your idea, your main ideas in the uh, in the IELTS writing task two. Okay, so how many paragraphs do we have here now? How many paragraphs do we have? <laughs> okay, this is the first, oh, sorry. Four paragraph. Uh, oh, brilliant. We have four paragraphs. This is the, oh, sorry, not this one. Undo here. Yeah, so we have four paragraphs. And I will, I'm trying to make it easier for you to understand this. So uh, this is the first paragraph. Uh, introduction, then this is the second paragraph, main body paragraph two, and this is the third paragraph. This is main body paragraph three, and then we have this one here. This is the conclusion. So we have at least four paragraphs in the essay. So this is how you should write your, um, you should plan your essay. Okay, now, um, we had, we discussed where to include your main ideas first in the introduction then main body paragraph one main body paragraph two and then the conclusion so this is how your essay plan should basically look like now let's have a look at the next one here so th yeah this is how your your answers should be like okay 
Right. Let's move on now to the next part. Okay, here you have a task to do. So I have four paragraphs for you. I would like you to tell me which paragraph should come first and which paragraph should come second. So put the paragraphs in the correct order to complete the IELTS writing task to essay. Here is the question. Sugar is now sugar is now a big health problem in many countries around the world. What is your opinion? So here is the question. You have four paragraphs. Okay. Uh, Sultan, can you tell me only about the body paragraphs? Mishari, you tell me about the conclusion and the introduction. This is one. This is two. Can I answer? Uh, waiting for uh, this is three and this is four. Yes, yeah, Sultan, can you tell me the body paragraphs? Which ones are body paragraphs? The third and the fourth one. Ah, the third and fourth one are the body paragraphs. Okay. And can you tell me which ones are the conclusions? Uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. And the introduction is the second one. Yeah, brilliant. So nowadays is the introduction and we have the conclusion. I need to take a call. Yeah, sorry, Sultan. I had to mute myself. And uh, okay. yeah, well, I'm going to send the link to you. So Mishari, who just had to leave, he can come back and watch it later whenever he is. He has the time. So, so these are the different parts of the essay, and I would like you to remember them. Uh, so you you are able to answer the different um, parts of the of the IELTS, IELTS writing examination. So, uh, okay, so we have the introduction, the first body paragraph, the second body paragraph. Now, obviously, when you write your essay, you need to give your opinion here. So I'd like you to tell me the words which are missing here. Here uh, is the word list, complete the essay, use the phrases in the box here. So uh, here are the phrases. For example, for example, in conclusion, in this essay, I'm going to, on the one hand, on the other hand. It's easy. Yeah, that's easy, of course. So can you tell me what is in the missing? first graph? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this is say, I will, I'm going ah, to. I'm going to, yeah, this is, I'm going to. Right. And the second one here. In oh, one hand. Oh, I showed you the answers. <laughs> yeah. Uh no. Okay. Did you see the answers? Of course no, not. No. Yeah, of no. course you did see them. Good. So <laughs> in the first uh, body paragraph here, what would you like to write on here? The and, on the one hand, okay. On the one hand, it is true that people eat too much sugar now. Right. And number three here, one, two, three. In the sec third body paragraph what did you like to write yeah hi Mishari welcome back so we are discussing now the plan for the essay and I'm going to give you some useful vocabulary to use in the boxes okay so can you now uh, look at these words and tell me which one sh we should use in the um, in the blanks here so Sultan you say on the one hand here Okay, and this one, what should we use here? Choose the words from here. For example. Uh, okay, for example. So we have the main idea and then we have the example, the explanation. 
we are explaining the idea through the example here. Okay. And this is main body paragraph two, Mishari. I'm going to show you the words. Can you tell me the words which are missing here? Uh, okay, Mab, M A B. Oh, someone is. Is it Mishari? I don't know if Mishari is muted. I think Mishari will need to. Yeah, okay. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Okay. So, all right. Thanks, Mishari, for making it again. Right. So, we are actually mm -hmm. trying to use the vocabulary here in, um, in this essay. So, uh, Sultan, can you tell me the answer now? What is the answer for this one? In the other hand. Is it in the other hand or on, on the other hand? On the on. other hand. It is important not to stop enjoying traditional food. Okay, here, what would you write here? For example. Yeah, for example, for example. And then here, what would you write here? In conclusion. In conclusion. So you're basically, your essay should look like this. Okay. Uh, four paragraphs with good connectors there, good discourse markers. And this is how you should be writing your essay here. So what is the function of this, the first sentence? Uh, the first sentence is basically the paraphrase. It is the paraphrase of the question. We paraphrase the question. We don't repeat any words from the question. We try it not to. Some, yeah, sometimes it is not possible not to repeat the words. In that case, it is okay. Uh, but try not to repeat the words from the question. So we actually write the paraphrase of the question, and then we give our own opinion and our main idea. So there are three different parts of the IELTS introduction, okay? Number one, I'm going to split them apart for you. So, okay, sorry, not this one. Uh, so I'd like you to look at, so this is basically, this is the paraphrase of the, the question here, okay? The meaning is almost the same. And then the second part here, that's the question is asking you, is asking you about your opinion here. So the second, oh, Mishari is back again. Okay, so the second question, um, yeah, the second question is, yeah. So this is the op opinion task for you and you definitely need to give your opinion here. So this is the question. The question is asking you to like, give your own opinion. And we would like to see how we write the opinion there. So this is the opinion. This is the question asking you. So here is the opinion in the question. People should reduce the amount of sugar they eat, but also enjoy it. Uh, so this is your opinion in the introduction. Okay. So the introduction part has three uh, elements. The first one is the paraphrase of the question. The second one is your opinion and the plan. How are you going to plan your essay? Now, as we as we discussed earlier, the body paragraphs should contain the main ideas and their development and also your opinion. And you need to come back to uh, your ideas again in the conclusion. So this is a good essay. This is a good plan for the essay. I'm going to as I said earlier, I'm going to send the link to you so you can watch it again and you can learn how to organize your 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 essay. Now, let's see what we have. Okay, read the sentence and highlight the phrase for giving opinions. If you want to give your opinion, you can say, in my opinion, what else can you say to give your opinion? Mm, I think. Again, in please, opinion. Michelle. In my opinion, good. What else can you say to give your opinion? I think it is. Oh, okay. Now, there are different ways of giving your opinion. The point is to know all this. So later on, um, you don't repeat the same words. It's very important not to repeat your vocabulary in the examination and try to show the examiner the full range of your vocabulary. So let's practice uh, some words that we use to give our opinion. For example, in my opinion, so which word is used here? Which phrase or words is used here to give the opinion? So I'll give you an example so you can understand and answer the question later. In my opinion, 
this we use this phrase to express our opinion. And the second one, what is the word that we use to express our opinion? It is true. It is true. Mm -hmm. It is true. It's, okay. Uh, and number three, what is the word or phrase we use to express our opinion? And number three means, okay, uh, in my view, on the one hand, sorry, not on the one hand, it is important. Okay. Right. And I think, yes, you are right, Sultan. We use I think. Um, I do not agree in conclusion. Sorry, not this one. Conclusion. I agree. So these are the different phrases that you can use in the examination to express your own opinion. Okay. Sultan, how many of these phrases or words did you use before today, before knowing them now? did Were you familiar with all these or did you use just only one or two? I used three of them. Three of them. Which ones were they? In my opinion. Uh -huh. uh, in my view. Mm -hmm. And I think. Good. Uh, Mishari, which of these are the easy, easy ones for you? In my opinion, um, uh -huh. is it important? Yeah, it is important. Good. So in your examination, don't repeat in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, for example, you need to use uh, different words. So you know, for example, how to uh, ex express your opinion uh, differently and use different different words. So you don't repeat the words. Okay. You don't repeat the, the words in the examination. Right. So basically, this is the answer for what you, these are the answers that you gave me, and uh, I think all your answers were brilliant. They were. Can I say? Yep. In my perspective. Um, you should say from my perspective. From my perspective. From my perspective, you can also say that. In fact, that's a better word and higher word than these ones. Yeah, but this is just the introduction. Later on, I'll give you some more words to express your opinion here. But generally, we use this these these words to express our um, opinion. Okay, now. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have now some advantages and disadvantages. I'd like you to tell me what are the uh, advantages and what are the uh, disadvantages here. So we have the advantages and disadvantages mixed up here. So can you tell me what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages? So Mishari, can you tell me the advantages? This is, uh, this is advantages. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, Bishari, this is or advantage? Yeah, uh, let me explain it to you. Mishari, can you tell me the advantages only? Sultan, you okay. tell me the disadvantages. Okay. Can be delicious. Oh, it can be delicious. So this is the advantage. Sultan, <laughs> a disadvantage? Can make you overweight. Can it make you overweight? Yes. All right. And? Quick, quick and easy. Quick and easy. This is an advantage of fast food. Okay, brilliant. What else can you tell me? Should I answer or should I? Yeah, Sultan, please, if you can. Uh, can cause health problems. Okay. Uh, often high in fat and sugar. Uh huh. Sometimes yeah, tastes disgusting. Yeah, tastes disgusting. Great, brilliant. Mishari, can you tell me now the the remaining advantages? Okay. Often uh, cheaper than eating in a restaurant. Okay. Uh, can be delicious. Uh huh. If you buy fast food, you do not have to if cook you... at home. Right. So okay. this is the uh, one of the advantages: quick and easy. So we what we did was that we analyzed <coughs> I'm sorry, we analyzed the different uh, advantages and disadvantages, and now we know. So in your answer, you should talk about the advantages in one paragraph and the disadvantages in the second paragraph. Try not to mix them up together. So that would improve your score for coherence in the examination. And remember, there are four criteria for writing assessment, and we're going to talk about them later. One of them is coherence, how you structure your response, how you avoid mixing them up so that your writing is easier 
to read. So this is how you should be um, organizing your ideas. So a one paragraph should discuss only one idea, advantages, for example. The other one should discuss disadvantages. Yeah, so you shouldn't try to mix them up together here. Okay, so um, now this is the, um, this, this was an introduction for how to write a good IELTS writing task two, how to organize it. Next, I'm going to send you a task to complete your writing task. Okay, uh, so I hope you can do it today or tomorrow. Uh, you should submit it uh, at a link that I'm going to send you, and then we'll discuss it in the next class you're writing. So I'm going to um, yeah, send a recording of this meeting because this is what I do. I always send a recording of, of the meeting. So if you missed anything or you would like to review anything, you can watch the video again to refresh your memory or revise what you couldn't understand the first time. So we're going to, I'm going to send you that. And uh, yeah, so brilliant. Thanks very much. Now we are going to go over to the next part of the, of the lesson and I'm going to stop the recording.